हेलो डियर ऑल वेलकम टू संदेश एजुकेशन अकेडमी आई एम संतोष वाघ हियर वी विल सी क्वेश्चन अंडर ट्राई दिस सेक्शन पेज नंबर 73 चैप्टर डाटा हैंडलिंग क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो नाउ सी द क्वेश्चन गिवन अंडर ट्राई दिस सेक्शन ऑन पेज नंबर 73 डाटा हैंडलिंग चैप्टर व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन स्टडी स्टडी द फॉलोइंग फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन गिवन बिलो हियर इज अ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल I have just added a photo. You can refer the page number seventy-three for better clarity. So in this frequency table, class interval of income means five fifty workers are there in factory, and their income is given, and income is classified in a class interval. So this class interval is given, and as per the class interval. Frequency of worker is given. Means in which class interval how many workers are there? What is asked? By observing this frequency table, some questions are asked. So we will see these questions. What is the first question? First question is, what is the size of class interval? So in this class interval, what is the size of this class interval? So Before solving these questions, let's understand what is this. So this is a frequency table, but in this frequency table, a class interval is used. Means grouping of data is done. What is the grouping of data? Means a particular size of group is given, and that is called as a class interval. Means how many workers are there in this class interval? So what is the first question? What is the size of class interval? So size of class interval, we can see there is a first is a hundred to one twenty five, one twenty five to one fifty, one fifty to one seventy five. So so class interval, so class interval is class interval is equal to twenty five rupees. So it is given in rupees. Now, are you getting very simple? So next question, what is the next question? In next question, what is asked? Which class has the highest frequency? You can observe this table and easily. It is very easy. That is the use of frequency table. That we can easily get our observations or our con conclusion. So. 140 see you can see 140 this is the highest frequency and what is the highest frequency 140 and that 140 frequency is for the class interval of 200 to 225 so this class interval has the highest frequency the highest frequency is 140 Are you getting? So, this class interval two hundred to two hundred twenty-five rupees. So, this class interval has the highest frequency. And that is frequency is one forty number of workers. Means one forty number of workers have the pay that they have their income in between two hundred rupees to two twenty-five rupees. That is the answer. Now, see the third question. Which class has the lowest frequency? Here we have seen the highest frequency. So, which class has the high, uh, lowest frequency here? From the table, we can see here we can see twenty number of workers. That is the lowest frequency. Lowest frequency is twenty number of workers, and that frequency is for the class of three hundred rupees to. Three twenty-five rupees for this class. For this class interval, only twenty workers are there. Means this class interval has the lowest frequency of twenty. Now see the next one. Fourth question. In fourth question, what is asked? Which is the upper limit of the class interval two fifty to two seventy-five? So. upper limit what is the upper limit 
so in this class interval what is the upper limit 250 to 275 the upper limit will be 274 because if the worker has the pay of 275 it will be in the next group are you getting this is the rule the highest number with 275 if the worker has a pay of 275 it will fall in the next group 275 to 300 so upper limit for 250 to 275 is 274 rupees now see the last one which two classes have the same frequency observe this frequency chart we will see which two classes have the same frequency the class interval of 150 to 175 and 225 to 250 these two classes have the same frequency of 55 workers means in this class interval also 55 workers lie and in this class interval also 55 workers lie so these are the answers and this is the frequency table so with the help of frequency table it is very easy to answer the questions now see the second question under the section try this page number 74 data handling what is question construct a frequency distribution table for the data on weight in kg of 20 students of a class using intervals intervals are given like 30 to 35 35 to 40 and so on this data is given about the ages of students so we will ah uh, so we will first draw a frequency table but in this frequency table again we are going to group a data means we are deciding a class interval which class interval of 5 kg class interval so first how will we can make table first make this first column of class interval which class interval class interval which is the class interval class interval for weight are you getting in kg and then next will be the frequency or tally mark tally mark and next column will be the total here we can total or frequency we can say so first will be the class interval 32 lowest see what is the lowest number here we can see 31 i think 31 is the lowest one so we are starting class interval of 30 to 35 this will be the first class interval then next class interval will be 35 to 40 the next will be the 40 to 45 then 45 to 50 then 50 to 55 what is the highest number 65 is the highest number so we can increase we have to increase this group 60 to 65 this will be the this will be the last one now Make the tally mark for each group. So to make a tally mark, first strike this number and make tally mark. 40. So 40 will lie in which group? 35 to 40 or 40 to 45? It will lie in 40 to 45. So make tally mark here 1. Always remember the number always lies in the higher group then next 38 38 will lie in in which group 35 to 40 so make one tally mark here 33 will lie in this group 32 35 then 48 will lie in which group 48 to 50 then 60 will lie in this group, higher group always remember then 53 52 55 then 31 32 35 and 46 45 to 50 then 34 34 will lie here first group then 36 in the next group then 49 
49 will lie in this group 41 will lie 41 to 45 in this group 55 will lie here higher group always remember first mark telemark for this group then 49 will lie again here then 65 will lie see see there will be the one more group 65 to 70 so 65 will lie in the higher higher group so 65 will lie in this group then 42 42 will lie in this group then 44 will lie in this group and 47 45 to 15 see this will be the mark like this fifth one like this then 38 will like 35 to 40 and 39 will lie in this group so these are the tally marks so what is the total frequency three there are three numbers in this group then in this group there are how many four numbers in this group again four numbers here five numbers and remaining group will have only single single numbers so how many totals are there 3 plus 7 7 plus 11 11 plus 16 17 18 19 20 means total there are 20 this our tally mark is okay perfect what is the observation from this tally mark number 5 this is the maximum frequency maximum frequency lies in this group 45 to 50 means in this group the maximum number of students lie what is this data this is the wages of students so but that means five number of students which lie in between 45 to 50 this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you